Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? I fine, thank you. Hello. Excellent. Hello. What about your day? How was it? How was your day, guys? How was your uh, day at work? ¿Cómo estuvo su día en el trabajo? Good. Good. Okay. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. Okay, guys. Well, welcome once again. We are going to start with today's class. We are going to start with our class today, class number seven. So we have different things to cover. Um, today we are going to talk about a different topic. Okay, vamos a cubrir algo pues diferente este día. But um, we are going to start with today's agenda. Okay, so we are going to first talk about the warm up. We have a game. All right, so then we are going to move to symptoms and conditions. This is related to vocabulary, okay? Then we have the verb to be. But today, we are going to try to cover verb to be in past, okay? So we already talked about verb to be in present, but today we are going to talk about verb to be in past, okay? And at the end, we have a short evaluation to see if you understood the class. Okay, so we are going to start. And remember, the topic for today is symptoms and conditions. Yeah, symptoms and conditions. So the first thing is the warm up. So we are going to play a stop the bus. Okay, so a stop the bus is a game in order for us to learn. Okay, so a stop the bus, guys, es lo mismo que digamos en español, bachillerato, stop. Es lo mismo. Nada más que en este caso eh, es en inglés, ¿ok? Yo le voy a decir eh, la letra, la inicial, por ejemplo, good evening, Carlos. Por ejemplo, eh, le puedo decir letter A, ¿ok? Y se la voy a escribir aquí, mire, letter A, ¿ok? Entonces usted tiene que buscar una fruta, un animal y un job profession que comience con esa letra, ¿sí? Y quien ya tenga las tres va a decir stop the bus, ¿ok? Ese es el juego que vamos a hacer para comenzar la clase, ¿ok? So, for example, um, si decimos fruit with the letter A, ¿qué fruta se le viene a la mente con la letra A? Apple. Apple. Animal. Un animal con la letra A. Ajá. Ah, very good. ¿Cómo se dice hormiga? Ant. Ok, mire, ant. Uh -huh. Y una job profession with the letter A. Architect. 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 Very good. Ok, así. Yo le voy a dar la letra y usted tiene que buscar las tres cosas y me va a decir, stop the bus, ¿ok? Cuando ya las tenga las tres. Y esa persona, si las tiene correctas, se lleva el punto. Vamos a jugar con cinco letras, ¿ok? So here we go. The first one, number one, ¿ok? So number one is letter, ¿ok? Letter, el sim, with the letter, S. Letter S. Letter S. Okay. You have one minute. Hurry up. Okay. Stop the bus. Okay, very good. So, Milena or oh, Mercedes. Okay, fruit with S, a strawberry. A strawberry. Uh, animal, a snake. Mm -hmm. And job service represented, represented, some stuff like this. 
Okay, so um, service representative. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Very good. Yes, okay. Y yes, let's say that yes, okay. Um, okay. ¿Qué más podemos decir en job professions, guys? Job, prof job profession? Soldier. 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 Okay. A secretary. Okay. Salesman. Salesman. Very good. Okay. Next letter. Okay. Next letter. With the letter, with the letter, uh, let me see. Mm, okay. With the letter M. M. Okay. Letter M. Stop the bus. Eh, Cindy, okay? Okay, go. Stop eh, the bus. Mango. Okay. Monkey. So, and me mechanic. Perfect. Okay, so excellent. Very good. You see? It is easy. Okay, so Cindy. Okay, Cindy. Okay, next letter, okay? Next letter, letter. Okay, so letter, let me see, um, T, letter T. Me, teacher. Milena, okay. Fruit, animal, and job profession. Okay, fruit, eh, tamarindo, tamarind. Okay. And animal, tarantula. I don't know how tarantula. to say that. Tarantula, yes. yeah. And job, eh, technical specialist. Technical specialist. Okay, yes, yes. What else, guys? Can ask the job profession. Astrid, taxi driver, taxi driver, teacher, teacher. 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 Uh -huh. teacher. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, Milena, you get the point. Okay, all right. So next letter. Okay, uh, we are missing two. Okay, two more. Okay, dos más. Okay, so with the letter R, R. Okay. Stop the bus. Eh, Alexandra. Okay, Alexandra, go. Okay. And fruit, rambutan. Okay. And animal, rabbit. Okay. Job profession, receptionist. Receptionist. Alexandra, very good. Guys, what else can we mention um, when it comes to fruit? Raspberry. Raspberry. Okay. Raspberry. Very good. Okay, the last one. Okay, la última. Okay, la última letter. Okay, so with the letter, let me see. Uh, with the letter W. W.
stop the boat. Okay, let's see Maria Jose. Okay, fruit, water, watermelon. Watermelon. Animal, werewolf. Okay. Uh, prof profession, warden. Uh, waiter? See, sí, waiter. Waiter. Okay, waiter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So, I don't know. Uh, Astrid, did you raise your hand? Oh, sí, pero. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, fruit, watermelon, también. Watermelon. Watermelon. And your profession, writer. Writer, okay. Okay. Y animal, whale. Whale. Very good. Yes, thank you, Astrid. Okay, just uh for today, Milena is the winner. Okay, so yes, very good. Okay, congratulations. Okay, guys. So we are going to continue, let's move, and we are going to move to the main topic, okay? So we are going to cover vocabulary first, okay? Vocabulary. So as you can see, we have nine sentences right here, okay? Nine sentences about symptoms and conditions, okay? So what we need to do is that we need to match each sentence to the picture, okay? Vemos la, la imagen, entonces tenemos que poner cuál de todas estas es, ¿ok? So, first of all, guys, vamos a pronunciar, ¿ok? He has a headache. He has, he has, a, he has a headache. 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 Excellent. Así. Headache, ¿ok? Headache. He has a sore throat. He, he has, has a, a sore, sore throat. throat. What is a sore throat? What is it? Él tiene un dolor de garganta. Dolor de garganta. De garganta, ok. So, uh, in this case, decimos he has, porque decimos él tiene, pero si usted quiere decir que usted tiene, va a decir I have. I have a sore throat, o puede decir, I have a headache, ¿ok? Entonces, mm -hmm. la tercera, she has a cold. What is the meaning of she has a cold? Resfriado. Ella tiene un... Resfriado. Resfriado. Okay. Yes, she has a cold. Now, what about number four? He has an allergy. Tiene una alergia. Una alergia. Tiene una alergia, ¿ok? Now, he has a toothache. To... Tiene dolor de muela. Excellent, ¿ok? Dolor de muela. Now, pronunciación. Toothache. 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 Yes. Now, what about the next one? She has a stomachache. She has a stomach. Dolor de estómago. Tiene un dolor de estómago. Correct. Dolor de estómago. Ok, but in this case, algo bien importante desde ahorita, um, this one no es stomach, ok? No va a ser nunca stomach. Va a ser siempre stomach. Con el K. Stomach. 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 Yes. Entonces vamos a decir, she has a stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. Excellent, ok. Yes. No es stomach, es stomach. Para decir estómago vamos a decir stomach. Ok, con K. Siempre, toda la vida, ok. Then we also have, he has an earache. Earache. He has an earache. Earache. Con he K. has an earache. Ok. No con CH, earache. Earache. Así, ok, so, then, yes, eight. then we also have, she feels sick, she feels sick, and then we have, she is sneezing, 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 ok, bye, ahora guys, vamos a enlazar, ok, let's match, ok, so, give me one second, 
Vale, ok. Eh, what is number one? The number five. Eh, he has number five. Oh. Number three. Ok, vamos una oh, por yeah. una. Yes, vamos por la primera. What is number one? The number two. The picture two. Picture two? Ok, so he has a headache, this one. Ok. What okay. about he has a sore throat? Number three. Yes, dolor de garganta. Number three. Yes. Number three. Yes. Number three. yes. He has a cold. Number eight. one. Eight. Number eight. 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 He has an allergy. Yes. Yeah. Number seven. 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 Number seven. 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 Very good. Now he has a toothache. Number, Number nine. nine. Number nine. Okay, very good. He has a stomachache. Six. Number four. Six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Okay. He has an headache. Number five. five. Number five. She feels sick. Number four. Four. Six. Four. four. And she's sneezing. Number, Number one. one. Number okay. one. So, ella está estornudando. Estornudando, sneezing. Sneezing, okay? Very good, guys. ¿Cómo se dice entonces dolor de oído? Irek. 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 How do you say dolor de muela? Toothache. Toothache. How do you say dolor de estómago? Stomachache. Stomachache. How do you say dolor de, de garganta? ¿Cómo se dice dolor de cabeza? ¿Cómo se dice resfriado? Alergia. ¿Cómo se dice ¿Cómo se dice ¿Cómo se eh, enfermo. Sick. 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 Feel sick. Feel sick. Okay, very good. Feel sick. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, let's continue. Now, we are going to talk about treatments. Okay. Treatments. Yes. Treatments. So, what is the meaning of treatments? Treatment means tratamientos. Okay. Treatments. Yes. So, guys, what we need to do is that we need to match. Tenemos que enlazar el tratamiento para todas las eh, enfermedades que tenemos aquí, todos los síntomas. Okay. So, let's see. So, if I have a cold, ¿qué puedo yo hacer si yo tengo un resfriado? Uh, letter C, get mm -hmm. some rest and drink lots of water. Okay. Okay. Okay, what about number two? I have a stomachache. Letter A. Take some dishes from tables. Okay, letter E. I have an allergy. Mm. Don't go outside. Don't go outside, okay. What about I, I have a toothache? A glass of water. Okay. But in this case, I have a headache. Take an aspirin. Yes. Okay, guys. Aquí podemos ver que podemos también tener otro tipo de tratamiento. No quiere decir que solamente ese, ¿verdad? Podemos tener otro tratamiento para I have a toothache. Probably you take an aspirin. Okay. So it's okay. Eso nada más para que usted vaya viendo como el vocabulario. Okay, so remember, a stomachache, toothache, headache, okay? All right, so now let's move, okay, let's move. 
let's move and we are going to start with the main topic okay which is grammar so today we are going to talk about past of the verb to be yes vaya guys cuál es el verbo to be en presente ya hablamos que es is um are, are. okay so in past cuál es el pasado is was or where yes ¿Sí? Y ahora, guys, si nosotros queremos decir eh, estuve o fui, ¿ok? Es was or were, porque es en pasado. Recordemos que el verbo tuve en presente es ser o estar. Entonces, en pasado es fui o estuve. ¿Yes? Uh, what we need to remember, guys, is that we have rules, okay? We have rules that we need to follow. So, when we use was, we need to use I, he, she, and it. Con esos pronombres, utilizamos was. Únicamente con estos pronombres, okay? Con estos pronombres, utilizamos were. For example, we, you, and they. Entonces no puedo utilizar he, he where, he, uh, he where, no. Porque la parejita de he es was. Okay. Yes. Ahora, en la negativa, ok, es lo mismo. Si usted se fija, lo que vamos a hacer es poner was not. Y la contracción, si la quiero utilizar, de contraction is wasn't, 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 okay? Lo mismo con were not. Were not is the same as weren't, weren't, yeah? Diana? Hello? Creo que no la escuchamos bien. Eh, la pregunta sería, entonces, el where sería solo en tercera persona, ¿verdad? No. Where no es en tercera persona. Where es para las segundas personas. Miren, we, you, and they. Ah, ok. Eh, where, guys, es para las segundas personas. We, you, and they. Para primera y, te y tercera persona siempre va a ser was. So then, eh, were not, weren't, negativo. Y luego también tenemos las preguntas. Was I, was he, was she, was it? Were we, were you, were they? Lo primero que tenemos que eh, aprendernos es que was es únicamente para I, he, she, and it. Y where es únicamente para we, you, and they. No se puede intercambiar. ¿Ok? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. El, en las preguntas sería, I was, he was, she was, it was. O es al revés, was I. En las preguntas no, siempre, no. sí, en las preguntas siempre vamos a comenzar con el auxiliar. Entonces va a ser, was I, was he, ah, okay. was he, was it. Uh -huh. okay. Correcto. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. All right. Perfect. So now let's continue. Okay. Vamos a continuar. Ahora vamos a, a diferentes preguntas que tal vez le pueden a usted surgir. Bien. So we have the structure. Tenemos la estructura. Sí. Para el pasado de was y where, pero por tu bien pasado, recuerde, vamos a utilizar la siguiente estructura. So we have positive sentence. We have subject plus was or where plus the complement. ¿Sí? Podemos tener sujeto, was or where, más el complemento. Depende de su sujeto, así va a utilizar ya sea was o ya sea where. Depende del sujeto. In the example, en este ejemplo, usted ve, Michael Jordan was born 
on February 1963 in the USA. Dice que Michael Jordan na nació, right? Que nació, ¿dónde? En febrero, ¿en dónde? En USA. So, si usted quiere decir, yo nací el 15 de abril de 1900, I don't know, okay, 1980, por ejemplo, ok. So, ¿cómo lo va a decir? I was born on April 15, 1980. Recuerde que los números grandes como las fechas 1980, es un poco difícil en ocasiones para ustedes que estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, decirlo eh, como todo, ¿verdad? Y en lo general nunca se dice 1980, en español sí. Pero en inglés podemos decir de dos en dos. ¿Ok? So, 1980. ¿Sí? O 1963. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si usted nació en el 2011, okay, puede decir 2011. Y así sucesivamente. Usted lo puede partir en dos. Los uh, números largos que son como 2000 o 1000, 3000, todos esos. Ok. So now. Um, bien. Now, with the negative, uh, vamos a hacer otra positiva para que podamos comprender también. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, ok, si yo quiero decir, Um, yo era delgada ok yo era delgada y ahora pues no pero yo era delgada ¿cómo lo puedo decir? yo era I, I, was, was, I, was, I was thin thin perfect ok I was thin yes now si yo quiero decir um, ella era feliz She was happy. She happy. was. She was. Happy. Happy. Ahora, sí. Ahora, si yo quiero decir, eh, ok, nosotros, eh, nosotros, um, nosotros éramos compañeros. We were. We were. We were, uh, we were classmates. Classmates. We were ¿Se fijan? Entonces, ese es básicamente el was y el were en las positivas. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? ¿Preguntas? Bless you. ¿Preguntas? ¿Questions? ¿No? Ok. Thank you. All right. So, let's move. And now, let's talk about negatives. So, in the negative, we are going to use the subject, wasn't or weren't, And the complement. And we have the example. Susan wasn't at the party last night. Susan no estaba en la fiesta ayer en la noche. Last night. La noche pasada. O sea, ayer en la noche. Yes? So now, si usted ve, en este caso, tenemos time expressions. Okay, we also have time expressions. The time expressions are the ones that help us to identify if we are talking about the present or the past or the future. Nos ayudan a identificar si estamos hablando del presente, pasado, futuro, las expresiones de tiempo. Okay, so with the was and where, podemos utilizar last night, la noche anterior, Last Sunday, el domingo pasado. Last week, la semana pasada. In the summer, en el verano. At Christmas, en Navidad. And yesterday evening. Ayer en la tarde. ¿Sí? Son expresiones que podemos poner al final de nuestra oración. ¿Ok? So, now, si yo quiero decir entonces, eh, si yo quiero decir eh, Rubén, Rubén no estaba en casa el domingo pasado. Rubén wasn't home 
the last uh, wasn't Sunday. home last Sunday. Okay. Sí. Y ahí está utilizando el was. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, si yo quiero decir, um, ellos no eran delgados. They, They were, were not thin. thin. They were not thin. ¿Sí? Entonces, la mayor parte de ocasiones utilizamos adjetivos, ¿se fijan? Thin, happy, o en este caso, nouns, que un nombre es una cosa, un lugar, una persona, ¿verdad? Entonces, classmates, es un noun, es un nombre, ¿sí? Eh, home, es a noun, ¿ok? Thin is an adjective, ¿ok? Now, let's move and let's talk about questions, ¿ok? Vamos con las preguntas. De hecho, so, solo una consulta. Yes. Eh, al momento donde se pone was not, eh, ahí podemos poner las, lo que habíamos estudiado de at home, o solamente se puede dejar así, es válido siempre. It, it is valid, pero si usted le quiere poner el at home, por supuesto, también es correcto. Ah, okay. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Uh -huh. Yes. Gracias. Okay. So now we also have was and where. Okay. Empezamos con los auxiliares porque es una pregunta. Toda la vida, okay, hay que acostumbrarnos a que las preguntas siempre tienen que comenzar con un auxiliar. Sí. Entonces tenemos was or where plus the subject and then the complement. Entonces tenemos was Carlos a great singer? ¿Fue o era Carlos un gran cantante? Yes, he was. O oh, no, he wasn't. Hmm? For example, si se quiere preguntarle a, a alguien, eh, for example, Um, ¿Estabas cansado? ¿Estabas cansado ayer en la noche? ¿Cómo lo diría? ¿Estabas cansado ayer en la noche? Was you tired was last night? night? Mm, no. Yeah. Tiene un mistake al, al principio, Rose. Where, where? Exactly. Uh -huh. Were you tired? Were you tired the last... last night? Ok. Uh -huh. En ese caso, eh, the last night, sí podemos decir the last night, pero the last, del eh, TH no es necesario, ok? So podemos decir, were you tired last night? Y ahí está perfecto. Ok. Uh -huh. So si le pregunto en ese momento yo a uh, Rose, were you tired last night? Yes, I was tired last night. Very good. Uh -huh. So you see, this is the past, was, and where. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. ¿Qué otras preguntas o dudas tiene? If not, let's move and let's take a look at more examples, okay? Fíjese bien, tenemos... I was a fireman. Yo era o yo fui. Yes, un bombero. Yes, yo era o yo fui. Algo que ya no es, pero fue. Okay, so I was a fireman. You were a student. Yes, he was a lawyer. She was a teacher. It was a dog. We were friends. Nosotros éramos amigos. We were friends. 
you were students and they were doctors. Si se fija, también lo utilizamos para occupations. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So now, let's see. Si usted se fija, aquí tenemos algunos ejercicios que tenemos que hacer. Okay. So, number one, I am late. Está en, en presente. Ahora vamos a pasarlo al pasado con el was. I was late. Yes. Mire la número dos. Are they hungry? Ahora lo vamos a pasar al pasado. Sería, were they hungry? Sí. Ahora pasemos la número tres al pasado. Was Thomas? He was not at school. Thomas was not was at Thomas school. Was Thomas in school? O oh, no, es eh, una oración, no es una pregunta. Mire. Entonces, Thomas was, not Thomas was not at school. Perfect. Yes. Number four. Why? 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 Why was, Why was it late? Uh -huh. She's late. Number five. My brother is a doctor. Past. My brother, My brother was, brother was doctor. a doctor. Was a doctor. Perfect. Was a doctor. Number six. Mm, no. They was not here. Mm, they were. They were. They were. They were. They were. They were not here. They, they were not here. They were not here. Uh -huh. Very good. They. Number seven. Eva is a teacher. Eva was, Eva was, was, she was a teacher. teacher. Number eight. Is Mr. Smith a taxi driver? What? Mr. Smith. What Mr. Smith? Was Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith. Taxi driver. Taxi driver. driver. Very good. Number nine. Where are your books? Where? 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 Books, okay. Your books. ¿Cómo se dice, perdón? Where, where your books. Where, where. Yes. Where, where, where your where books. Your books. Okay. And the last one. Are you a student? Where are you a student? Where, where, you a student. student. where are you a student? Very good. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now let's continue. Okay. Let's continue with the next exercise. Okay, so on this one, the same thing. Tenemos que poner was or where, okay? Number one, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson was a very popular artist. He was born in 1958. Number two, last Saturday, Carlos and Irma, too. We're, we're, we're home. home. We're home. We're home. They, they, were, they were in the country, 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 country all weekend. Okay, they were in the country all weekend. Okay. Number three. I, I was, I was born in the country. We're lost. Excellent. They Number four. Where by Where 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 no, en este caso sería no, they weren't. 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 Siempre se Yes, perfect. Number five. For no, most, for people, most people, Pele was one of the best in the world. And number six. 
What were your favorite subjects in high school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Okay. On number six, en esta, ¿estás seguro que es where? Was. Es guapo. Where was. ¿Por qué? Porque mire, aquí le dice Your favorite Una, le está diciendo Your favorite subject No subjects, con la S ¿Ok? No es plural, es singular ¿Ok? So, what was Your favorite subject In high school? It Was math Math Muy bien See? You see? Very good. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta? No. No. Okay. So now, antes de el conversation question, vamos a tomar la práctica relacionada al tema. ¿Sí? Eh, le voy a compartir el link. Déjeme lo voy a uh, atraer el link. Um, bye guys el link básicamente del examen es este, el siguiente ahí está me dice si tiene algún problema, ok, abriendo y la contraseña es grammar, letra mayúscula grammar ok, ábralo y puede empezar a tomar tome el examen Choose the best option for each question. Okay. Cuando ya lo hayan tomado, me avisa para poder moverlo a otro salón y que pueda empezar a practicar. Abra la clase también para que vea las preguntas. Que va a ya lo terminé. Ok, thank you, Astrid. Eh, ok, Astrid ya lo terminó. Veamos quién más lo terminó para poder mover la otra sala. Ok. Very good. Ok, so I see Alessandra. Ok, give me one second. Ok, Alexandra. Teacher. Yes. Y esas preguntas. Street. Eh, por ejemplo, la de what is your, what is your job. La vamos a contestar como eh, con esto que estamos viendo de what is your work. ¿O lo vamos no. a usar normal? Normal. Esas son okay. preguntas normales, sí. Ok. Listo, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ok, very good. I can see that. Bye, guys. Lo yeah, voy a... teacher. Ok, thank you. Vale, lo voy a empezar a asignar a las salas, ok. Thank you. Ah, vaya, entonces en ese está en la que dice clase 7. Ok. Listo. Ok. Gracias. Bueno.
Ok. Eh... ¿Te, ¿Te pregunto yo o me preguntas tú primero? Te pregunto yo si quieres, Astrid. Eh, Astrid, what is your... Ah, oh, no, espérame, déjame ver. Uh -huh. <ríe> Vamos a practicar las preguntas que están al final de, de la clase. Yes. Okay. Um, no sé si tienen abierta la clase. Ah, no. ¿Te aparecen las preguntas? No, no, no. ¿Qué está? No, no, no. What, what is your job? No. No, el, y sinceramente mi, no sé cómo se hace para compartírsela. Mi, mi, mi problema es que yo estoy en el teléfono y no puedo abrir muchas ventanitas. Ah, no me da esta conexión. Pero, ah, sí, porque yo igual, yo lo estoy usando el teléfono, pero sí, este, procuro siempre mantener la clase casi abierta por esto mismo de las preguntas. Porque cuesta. Ajá, sí cuesta. Mm. Pero, Ajá, sí, pero si, el... usted no, si usted no guía ahí, no sé. Porque bueno, yo, yo, estaba, no, yo estaba viendo por lo, por lo que tenía la maestra compartiendo. Mm. Yo voy a intentar yo. Ahorita estoy buscando. Yeah. Bueno, si quieren les pregunto entonces. Sí, sí, está bien. Vaya. Um, what is your job? ¿De qué trabaja? Yes. Ah, ok. Ah, responde. Las cosas. Los Ajá, tacos sí. también. Los tacos, ok. Sí. Ok. My La favorite. Ah, ¿Quién va? Eh, okay. <laughs> okay. My favorite dish is eh, the pizza. De pizza. Okay. Yeah, my favorite is pupusas. Okay, my favorite dish is tacos and pupusas. Ah, okay. Bueno, la siguiente, la siguiente dice: What country are you from? What country are you from? Uh, I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I am from El Salvador. Okay. La siguiente dice, what is your favorite restaurant? Oh. oh yeah, my mm. favorite restaurant is a pupusería. No sé cómo se dice pupusería. Pupusería. It's the same. Okay. okay. My favorite restaurant is China one. China what? China what? I, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My favorite recipe is pizza. What is it? Perdón. Por ejemplo, dije ahí no sé. You finish? Ah, oh, no, no, no he terminado. Okay. No. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Eh, ese, esa sería una pregunta, ¿verdad? Conversation question. Yes. Ok. Ok. Eh, voy a preguntar ahí, compañero. What is your job? Hello. Karen. Hello, es que no tengo la conversación, no la puedo ver. Ahí en el chat la mandé, compañera, la imagen. Solo oh, activé el audio y ahí lo puede ver. Ok. What is your job? O el otro compañero igual puede ver. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. What is your job? Yes, guys, what is your job? Are you my job? Mm -hmm. 
My job. Music. Ah, uh, my job. Artist. Secretary. You're an artist. Okay. Artist. Artist. Okay, what is your um, favorite Tyler. dish? Leonidas? Tyler. You're a tailor? Okay. Karen? Yes. Ah, uh, my favorite dish is uh, fish. No, what is your job? Ah, uh, what is your um, job? Uh, secretary. Okay, and Mirna, what is your job? Uh, I don't have a job. Uh, actually, I do employment. Okay, unemployed. Unemployed. Unemployment. Okay. Okay, continue. The, the other one. Los cuatro traten de decir la respuesta antes de pasar a la silla. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, two questions. What is your favorite dish? Mm -hmm. My favorite dish is uh, fish. Okay. Um, uh, app is called Cake. Uh, it's to practice English, see videos and movies. So I think it's cool to download if you if you want. Cake. 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 But but that, but I but I think that there is a version that you need to pay. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Because, <laughs> you know, um, I remember one of my students, um, he had that app, but I mean, he needed to pay. I don't know if it is for free, but he needed to pay. Uh, I think it's free, but free. if you want more things, uh, I think that it's necessary to pay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And the other ones? What is your favorite app? Astrid, Milena, and Jenny. Uh, and my, my favorite. Uh, okay. oh, you asked me. <laughs> okay. And my favorite app, um, it's a cam. What is camera? that about? Camera. Oh. Because I take a pictures in different place. Okay. How is it called? What? How is it called? Uh, What's the name of the of the app? The camera. Uh huh. Uh, o sea, la cámara. <laughs> es una app al final. No? Ah, okay, Pero... just the camera. Ah, okay. Sí, sí, just, just the camera. Uh, okay, yes, it could be a um, it's an app. Yes, it is an app. Okay, what about you, Milena? In my case, my favorite app is TikTok because it's very funny. You can see all the topics, uh, all the news on yes, it. <laughs> on funny trends too. That is correct. Yes, it is correct. And you, Jenny? My favorite uh, app is Duolingo. Why? Why? Why, Jenny? ¿Por qué le gusta Duolingo? Is excellent, excellent for English. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Vámonos de regreso. Yes. Okay, guys, let's continue. We're almost done with our class. Alexandra, which do you prefer, pizza or pasta? In my case, I prefer pizza because it's more delicious than pasta, yes. I think. <laughs> yes, okay, well, it depends, right? But yeah, I agree. What about you, Rose? Which do you prefer, pizza or pasta? <laughs> I think that, okay, I'm going to turn off my camera probably. 
I am. Can you hear me? I talk pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you, Edwin, what do you prefer? Pizza or pasta? Um, pizza, um, um, como diría, aunque también um, me gusta la pasta. <laughs> Oh. Pizza, but I also like pasta. Same class. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo dijo eso? ¿Cómo dijo eso que las dos cosas? Okay, so pizza, but I also like pasta. Also es también. Ah, uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, y, also... y, y, y eso lo puede mandar al, al, como mensaje. Al, sí. al, al, aquí. Uh -huh. Al, al chat. Also, ajá, o al WhatsApp. Vaya, ajá, sí. Also ahí. pasta. Sí. Pizza, pizza para... But I like also pasta. Ok, guys. Así, miren. Pizza, but I like also pasta. Uh -huh. Así. But I like also pasta. Yes. Mm, I like... Bye. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance. Voy a tomar asistencia, ok? Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Say present, okay? Cuando escuches su nombre, diga presente. So, Alexandra Giselle Corena. Present. Álvaro Miguel Moreno. Álvaro Miguel. Ana Violeta Guevara. Ana Violeta Guevara. Ana. No. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Astrid. Present. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada. Present. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez Arguera. Present, sir. Thank you. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Andreina Rodríguez Velázquez. Claudia. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Present. Thank you. Diana Michelle Alvarenga Cortés. Diana Michelle. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa Melgar. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Alexandra López Borja. Gabriela. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you. Jose Ismael Vázquez Hernández. Present. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Cruz de Noyola. Karen? No? Okay. Present. Present. Thank you. Leonidas Edgardo García. Leonidas? Present. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Áviles. Present. Thank you. María José Guillén. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mercedes Margarita Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Milena de los Ángeles Aragón. Milena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mirna Yamilez Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sonia Beatriz Villalta. Present. Thank you. Thelma Janet Escobar. Present. Thank you. Teresa Rosa Maria Pineda Mojica. Present. Thank you. Vilma Guadalupe Méndez Vargas. Vilma. Ay, no está, teacher. Yo sé que tenía una grabación ahora. <laughs> okay, thank you. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Jenny, mm -hmm. thank you. Hay alguien que no, no mencioné? A todos lo mencioné? Bye. Okay, guys. Yes, perfect. Okay, guys. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but I hope to see you all tomorrow. Okay? Por el tiempo, vamos a parar aquí, pero I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay? I hope you have a good night.
Descanse. Good night. Thank All right? you. Thank, bye -bye. You. Thank you. Bye bye, bye, -bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.